Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create and sell personalized mug listings on my Etsy shop using My Designs. So let's get started. So I'm on the dashboard page of the My Designs website. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the listings tab in the left menu here, right where my mouse is at, and we'll click that. Next, you need to create a new folder or a collection if you don't have one already. I've already got one. I've named Personalized Mugs, so I'm going to click that, and we're going to jump right in. Um, next, we need to create a listing, and we can do that by uploading our own designs, or we can go to our canvas and actually just create the design, which is what we're going to do now. So we can get to the canvas by clicking, uh, once again, in the left menu of the website, Canvas under Create. And this is in the beta stage, so there might be a little, a couple bugs here and there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you from here how we can set up our print files for personalized mugs. The first thing we need to do is select a template so that we can ensure that we have the, the direct dimensions that our print partner requires for mugs. So we can do that by selecting templates here. And then I'm going to search mug. And we're going to use this 11 ounce mug as the example for this video. So you'll see we have this um, pull up and this the bottom part is just showing you what, what this print area is. So this blue shows that this print area is the middle of the mug. This is the right side and this is the left side. So I'm going to go ahead and add some text to this and we can do that by going to text and then I'm going to click add text. This is going to give me just a generic font. You can select whatever one you'd like, and soon we'll have the ability for you to actually add your own fonts. Um, and I'm going to type uh, something in here. I'm just going to say something along the lines like uh, your pet name. And then we'll go ahead and uh, expand this out a bit. And I'm going to put this towards the top of the mug. And I want it to be centered pretty close to the right, or the, excuse me, the left side in this case. Um, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it by hitting Control C and then pasting with Control V. And I'm going to move it to the direct other side lined up perfectly with this one. Uh, the reason I do this is I like to set up my mugs with uh, two sided print, not just one in the middle, as I think they look a little bit better having um, a print on both sides. So next we need to actually think uh, what pet are we going to sell here. Um, and this is a personalized product like I've mentioned before. So let's say I have a mini golden doodle personally. So maybe I'll use that as an example. Um, what I need to do now is go to the Dream AI tab at the top here. And I'm going to, I have a, a prompt here you can see. I'm just going to use a similar one. And I'm just going to say change Cocker, Cocker Spaniel to mini golden doodle. And then we're going to go ahead and click Dream and see what we can get here. Um, you can mess with the styles and everything if you'd prefer. I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything as is and see if we can get something that we uh, can use here. I ran a few extra prompts off camera just to save some time for the video. And I got some results that I really liked on some of these. Um, I think this will work perfect for what we're doing. Um, and we can actually remove the background on this image right here inside of our canvas system. So we don't need to go anywhere else. Uh, we can do that by clicking on the image, going to effects, and then clicking remove background. And this will take maybe 10 seconds and then I'll show you um, the result. But it does a really good job and it helps to utilize UA, or excuse me, AI images um, because you can easily remove the background. So now you can see that did a wonderful job, but we need this on both sides of our um, canvas. As you can see, we've got your pet name on both sides. So I'm going to move this over here and then I can either right click and hit copy and paste or control C and V. Um, or you can just hold the alt key, click and drag it over and you'll see it duplicates it like that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's lined up perfectly with the other um, side. About right there, that makes it perfectly lined up. And as you can see, just like that, we've created the print file for our mugs. And this is the perfect dimensions um, to be sent to our print partner. Now that I have everything exactly as I want it, our next step is just to save this file to a collection or a listing. Um, and we can do that by going to the top right corner here, clicking Save to a Collection. Uh, we can name this file. 
and then we can select the listing, which is going to be a new listing because we don't have one already created. Um, and then the format is going to be a PNG. That's just fine. Uh, this is very important that you do this if you're selling a personalized product. You need to click or excuse me, select this box that says save as editable. That is going to allow us to change this text where it says your pet name to whatever the customer um, requests that we change it to. So once we click save as editable, now we just click create new listing. This is what our actual listing looks like now that we've created the file. If you notice the two paintbrushes here, the blue paintbrushes, that means that this is an editable file. So it was saved and created correctly. If yours don't have, doesn't have that blue uh, paintbrush icon, make sure you restart as it is not an editable um, file. Uh, so the next step is going to be creating some mockups. So we can do that by going and selecting mockups here, create image mockup. And then we're going to turn on multi-product. We're going to change the category here to drinkware. And then I'm going to go ahead and just type mug as that's what we're selling. It'll get rid of all the other drinkware we offer. And there are a couple of really good options here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the mockups that show the two sides of the mug, like because that's how I set my print file up. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to mockup one. Oh, excuse me, it's saying there's duplicates because we have a t-shirt still selected here. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and select mock-up one. Uh, we'll select this one and we'll do mock-up two. It, as you can see, it maps it to an empty one already. Um, and then maybe we'll do this one and this one as well. So if you remember right, our... Um, our text is black, so we need to make sure that we are we have these on a white um, background, or else they'll show as a different color. This one only has white. Some of them have the ability for you to change them. I will just go with those four. I don't think we really need to do more as I'm just showing you guys an example. So once we have all the mockups selected we want, we can just click generate mockups in the top right corner here. And that will take just a moment and then I'll resume the video. This is what our mockups look like. As you can see, we've got um, our print file showing on both sides of the mug, as in this is one side of the mug and this is the other side. So it's showing twice, just like we set it up. Um, and I'll show you what the other mockups look like here. Shows the front and the back. So I think those look fantastic. And then our next step is just going to be filling out data for this product. So I'm gonna go back to the list view here. I was in a grid view. You can switch by um, clicking that button there. And I'm gonna go ahead and use our Vision AI to generate the um, data for this listing. Um, I gotta make sure I have the listing selected. Then I go to Vision AI. I'm gonna use my main file. My product type is going to be a mug. I want it to do my title, description, and tags. Um, and it can go ahead and include the product features as well. I'll select the white 11 ounce mug. And I'm going to actually have Vision AI um, include some custom instructions because this is a personalized file. So I'm just gonna say this is a personalized file. Please include this in the title. title tags and description. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click generate listing data. I'm not entirely sure what this is going to give us, but when doing personalized products, we have to add custom instructions in order to use Vision AI. Now that Vision AI is done, these results look incredible. Um, if you'd like, you can pause the video and go through um, the title, tags, and description. But from what I'm seeing, it looks fantastic. I always tell people that Vision AI gets you about 85 to 90% of the way there, but you always wanna double check and um, make sure everything is good and maybe you can get some better keywords by manually going in and changing a couple things but I think these results are great and I'm gonna leave them as is so now we have our print file all of our mock-ups and all of our data done for a personalized mug listing the next step is just to go and publish your listings um, and then once you receive an order after it's published from your Etsy shop um, it will go to the orders tab here um, and then you can go in to that order into this print file and update the pet name. So let's say a customer ordered a mug and they said their pet name was Maya. You would just go into this um, 
print file, change the pet name to Maya, um, and then you would just submit that to the print partner and they would um, print it and ship it and then you don't have to worry about anything is. So that's how easy it is to create personalized mug listings with my designs. I hope everything made sense. If you guys like this video, please comment on it. Um, like our channel and subscribe to our channel for further my designs content.